Good chance to reset, Mike. You've got two full practices in as you get ready for uh, for another busy week. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, time to get refreshed physically and mentally, and then let's get to work here. Obviously, uh, we've uh, been in every game we've played here in the last three. We haven't found a way to win. We've been ahead. We've been behind all scenarios. We've got to do a better job and find ways to get points. That's it. See Marlowe and Nylander out there on the line together. If they play, what would you hope to see from from that group? Well, I could select any line you put together. You're just hoping there's some chemistry and that they're going to play well and spend more time in the offensive zone than they're in their own zone. And so um, we we played Willie in, in the middle at home before when we control the matchup, we control the matchup here. And so we're going to try to do the same things that the guy can play down low and look out for him if he needs to as well and go from there. Uh, Hyman Brown and him are a real good line as well, though, so we can always have that. Do you like that kind of line, given the opposition tomorrow, knowing how Bill's going to prepare his club? Well, that's what we try to do. Obviously, they're trying to get ready for us. We're trying to get ready for them. We know exactly what we're getting. Uh, it's going to be tight. There's going to be no room. It's going to be one of those games that it looks like there's hardly any plays taking place whatsoever. That's the that's the new NHL. There's not a lot of space, and so uh, we got to find ways to make plays and, and play in the Ozone. Mike, what do you know about, uh, obviously you're wearing those jerseys tomorrow, but the history of the franchise and the Toronto arenas and everything that goes with that game? You know, uh, I obviously know way more about the franchise now that I've been here three years. I knew nothing about the franchise before besides their original six team and, and the team that used to play the Montreal Canadiens on TV when I was a kid. Other than that, I knew much, not very much about them. I was a Boston Bruins fan, to be honest with you. So, uh, you know, obviously... Anytime you're involved in the original six, there's tons of history and tons of great players that have gone before you and and you want to represent them well. We want to get our franchise back to its rightful place. We're working at that. We're trying to get better each and every day. We understand it's a process, but I think we got a product right now that our fans are proud of and we just gotta keep getting better. Can you and your wildest dreams imagine what your predecessor would have done hundred years ago? Yeah, I mean, obviously a different problem, but I've been coaching a long time too, and I know how the league's changed just since I've been in. Never mind, I started coaching at Redrick College in 1988, and so to see the time from then till now, or even to look back on significant events you've had as a coaching career and look at how you coached then and how you coach now, I mean, the game's ever changing, no different than your job. If you're not getting better, people are going by, and pretty soon you don't have a job. So I think it's the same in the National Hockey League. It's always changing. We're always trying to evolve. The game's getting quicker to change the rules. we got to adjust. So, uh, you know, it's exciting. But to answer your question, no, I haven't gone back that far. What did you do uh, to, to sort of get Nazim to figure things out? Yeah. What, he, what he had to do to stick in his head? Yeah, great question there. You know, so what parts Naz coming of age? What parts Naz growing up? And on what parts you've been through enough uh, struggle that it was just time to dig in? You know, I think sometimes as a coach, uh, uh, you get way more buy in when the guy's ready or when the players arrive and you have the culture established already and there's no wiggle room. And that's what we're trying to do here now is not so much worried about you know, Naz say and even though you got to work with him on a daily basis, it's the new guys coming in. If they don't turn in to be good pros, uh, then it's on us. And so that's having a great culture here and that's why Arlo's here, that's why Haynes is here, that's why we tried to make the organization better so that there's no wiggle room for these guys because most people follow the path of least resistance. Sometimes that's not to the weight room. So do you update on Austin? Yeah, he's doing good. Uh, I don't know when they're letting him play, but he's doing good. How's that? Do you that? expect he'll be in, the, in either of these back-to-backs? Yeah, that's a great question. Do I ask the same one?